you had the opportunity to foster the next generation of environmental leaders, how would you do it? At Toronto Region Conservation, we know it takes all of us to ensure our students become environmental leaders. We also know that students must be connected to the natural environment and understand that their actions have an impact on it. To that end, we created the Western Family Environmental Leaders of Tomorrow program. As a teacher, living sustainably means developing ecological literacy through hands-on performance tasks that connect students to the earth. Students have three interactive experiences guided by our staff. The first one's in the classroom, the second at a residential field center, and the third back in the classroom. This program introduces key conservation concepts like the eco footprint and ecological stewardship. It contributes to the students' overall ecological literacy in a hands-on creative way, allowing them to express their ideas through a class art project. What are you drawing, Andy? Um, right now I'm drawing a poster about planting trees to create shade. I'm drawing a house with a solar pan panel on it and some eco stuff you could do to make your house more like eco-friendly. If you create shade by planting trees, it's reducing the amount of um, air conditioning which helps the environment. When we help the environment, we're leaving a small impact on nature versus a negative effect on nature or when we do negative things that might harm the environment, that's like leaving a big imprint on nature. We call this, depending on what size of footprint you have, an eco footprint. The Watershed on Wheels pre-visit lesson is important to the success of the Weston Family Environmental Leaders of Tomorrow program because it gets the students to think about their relationship with nature and their dependence on it. Well, the big idea we try to impart to our kids is that our planet is a single ecosystem that includes us. Welcome to Lake St. George. Hope you have a good time. <laughs> They're great. Better than my room. <laughs> The Field Center experience extends the learning that begins in the classroom and allows an opportunity for the students to be fully immersed in living and learning sustainably. We teach them to put their knowledge into action, measure their progress, and ponder how to continue these new habits at school and in their community. This trip is about building confidence and enabling them to take their new learning and practices home. Come on inside, let me show you around. Alright, so today you're going to be out in wilderness survival and you guys need to dress warm and meet Ryan Ian in the dorm at 9 o'clock. Alright, have a good day. Take care. The Western Family Environmental Leaders of Tomorrow program is unique. It takes three standalone programs and weaves them together, creating a more memorable, authentic learning experience for our students. The program focuses on three pillars. We want to increase environmental leadership skills, increase ecological literacy, and foster community action. This program really walks the talk. Okay, so we're going to be going out to our wilderness survival site. We're going to be showing the kids how to safely make campfires. They're going to be boiling up water to make cedar tea from leaves. They're going to gather themselves. We're then going to collect wood to build shelters, try to protect ourselves from the elements. Okay, so let's go. Right now the students are gathering kindling because we're in our wilderness survival program and we are about to make fires and shelters. And so we're spending a few minutes to get some kindling to make sure our fires are successful. Oh, this is a good example, so it's not too tall and it's not too short. And if you're under the snow you'll actually notice there's quite a bit of branches, quite a lot of branches. This is a pretty small one, but you can just wedge that in there, you need one that's even longer that goes down further, and then start leading your branches to the Now this is my shelter. I think the biggest surprise for me as a classroom teacher was seeing these kids unplug. Not once did they ask for their cell phone or their laptop or their TV and, or their video game console and that was refreshing. They were so engaged in the activities and they were reconnecting to nature that they didn't have time for all that other electronic stuff and that's what we really wanted to do. We wanted to promote their ability to reconnect with their home, which is the earth. My proudest moment of this activity, uh, this morning activity, was making the fire, the shelter, well, pretty much everything. In the first activity. My favorite part was lighting up the fire, even because it was my first time doing it. Amazing. 
um, because it was just a fun experience, and everything we got, everything we got to do, um, I probably wouldn't have done it without going on going on this trip. For us, this is really about creating sustainable communities. To do this, we have to establish a new approach to student learning coupled with the new funding model. This new approach to learning takes our historic strengths related to nature, science, and environmental education and establishes strong connections to the home and community. We are seeing decreased public funding for student field trips, so private funders like the W. Garfield Weston Foundation are crucially important. Without their support, entire segments of the student population in Toronto would not be able to participate in these types of programs. Really made me happy to see the kids out in nature because kids in inner city schools spend so much time in a very small space. And so this gave them the opportunity to breathe fresh air, to have an opportunity to walk in the woods, and just, for instance, that solo walk at night with Ian. They learned so much about themselves when they had to walk that 1K by themselves at night that it was just really true awakening. They learned that they could do it and that they were safe and so they had that self-reliance skill come out and that survival skill come out. And it was just terrific to watch them uh, bloom here. This is the end of their visit to the Lake St. George Field Center. However, in about a month, we're going back into the classroom to see what they've accomplished. Thanks, Lake St. George! In this third phase of the Western Family Environmental Leaders of Tomorrow program, one of the teachers from the field centers reconnects with students in their own classroom. This visit is typically scheduled about one month after the students return from their trip and has multiple goals associated with it. So the Western Foundation really wanted us to recognize people that have gone above and beyond as environmental leaders. Come on up, please. Yay! Would you like to cheer for Respect is the key message in all our presentations. It's important to make the distinction that we are a part of the environment and not masters of it. Water, soil, air, plants, animals are all integral to our survival. So if we wish to preserve these for future generations, we must first respect them enough to learn about them and how they interact with us and each other. We want the students of today and the leaders of tomorrow to understand the nature of ecological change and how they are part of the solution. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something.